Um, just surrounding around the NBA Finals, do you guys, because people have been bringing it up, especially Paul Pierce has brought up, I think you know the comment I'm about to break up, uh, bring up. Is LeBron James, no, sorry, is Kevin Durant better than LeBron James now? Is it a passing of the torch like you, you just said before we uh, went on air? It's, uh, I guess, you know, at this point still, I, uh, I, I don't think it's the passing of the torch yet because I feel like uh, the makeup of the team right now of the Golden State Warriors and the makeup of the team of the Cavs just emphasizes what each of their skills are. LeBron James' all-around skills is being fought on full total showcase right now, just the way the players at the Cavs are playing right now. Because him and Kyrie are playing, you know, if people don't know that Cavs, like LeBron is playing really well. Yeah. He's averaging almost a triple-double this whole final season. He is season. averaging a triple-double. He's playing really well, but his full, sh- his full-on skills are being showcased at its most. His rebounding, his scoring, his ability to involve everyone and to pass the ball is being is being showcased because of the fact that the way their team is made is surrounded by shooters and surrounded by people that, that can't really make their own shot unless LeBron sets them up. Whereas KD, his, the way the Warriors are made up, he doesn't have to do the things that he could potentially do, uh-huh. but he's being, he's, he's, um, the certain skills that he has are being showcased as well. His ability to put the ball on the floor, every rebound that he gets, he's taking on a break because Clay and Curry are very good off the ball. That every time he gets the ball, he has the freedom to take the ball and take one on one and get mismatches. Because the moment he gets a rebound, it's a mismatch. Who's gonna guard him off the ball? Because he can literally carry, take the ball, and be the point forward in a sense, right? And also his shooting, his being full on showcase. Because the way Warriors play, it's a style that's very offensive focus. Not very, I mean, not offensive shooting focus. The, a lot of off-ball screens, a lot of you know down screens, a lot of coming off the pin down, and that was his game in Oklahoma City. If you watch a lot of his a lot of his shot comes from a pin down, getting in the middle and getting a mid-range. That was his game. All right. So, and, but uh, it, besides him having so much help with his teammates, uh, both on the Cleveland side and the Warriors side for Kevin Durant, uh, LeBron James, friends, do you think from what what we've seen so far is Kevin Durant uh, probably going to be the is he a better player than LeBron James now? Uh, for the meantime, LeBron is still the best player right now in the um, NBA. In the NBA, yeah. Um, KD, uh, I mean, like like Mark said, he's um, surrounded by a bunch of like you know competent players, right? It makes it much easier for him. If he has the same role players like LeBron, he'd probably struggle just like you know Cavs is doing right now. Right. Um, you put LeBron on um, Golden State, they'll just dismantle each team. <laughs> Every game, so oh, that's I, just my I would opinion. I can see that happening just because the way LeBron is a very good playmaker, he would basically run the offense a lot better. But the thing is that if you put KD on the Cavs, I don't think they're gonna be a, they're gonna be they're not gonna be as bad because the fact that they need a lot they need a really good efficient scorer and they need that outside scoring that Durant still has because it spreads out the floor. A lot better than like LeBron can. I know he's improved his shooting, but Durant is a better shooter still. So, so you're saying, yeah, you would, you're saying that if Kevin Durant were to switch with LeBron James, they switch places yeah. on both teams. Golden State will be fine with LeBron James, yeah. and Kevin Durant, uh, Kevin Durant on Cleveland Cavaliers will probably he will be still carry even better. Team. Yeah, he will, he will be better in terms of what he's doing at 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 Golden State. He would be a much he would you would see him average almost close to triple double because. I would see that happening because on the Golden State he doesn't need to pass as he doesn't need to do as much because he is he is getting the ball he's not passing he yeah. is getting the ball yeah he's more of a receiver there because Draymond is their main playmaker but if you put him in the Cavs he's gonna be the main playmaker if you watch them right and you're gonna have him coming off screens against what you have him getting pick and roll or pick and pop from uh, Kevin Love and you have him coming off as a pick and roll man with Kyrie and that's dangerous. That's almost the same as getting a pick and roll with Curry. And do you guys think? Um, do you guys think he, he's going to be better than the what, what he's doing right now? Like, if do you think Kevin Durant? Um, do you think Kevin Durant's going to stay in Golden State? Because he's been saying that he might stay for a, a long time, whether or not he they lose or whether or not they win. Uh, I think he'll stay. I mean, he once he gets a taste of the the championship, he'd like to uh, go back and. Try to do a back-to-back, you know, um, you know, season. 
uh, for a title. But uh, other than that, if once he accomplishes, um, you know, um, getting a ring, he'd probably go to another team, like let's say maybe OKC. Go back to uh, OKC. Yeah. Uh, or maybe back to his uh, home state, Washington. But uh, he's mentioned before he doesn't want to go go to his home uh, home state, right? Yeah, uh, but he always like. I, yeah. I can definitely see him just staying because yeah. he did yeah. say he's going to commit whether or not they lose or they win. Yeah. He's definitely going to stay in Golden State. I don't know about OKC though. It's just the way. If you've ta- if you've tasted the way Warriors play, you wouldn't want to go back. Wanna leave. To, you you wouldn't want to go back to play in a style of game that doesn't share the ball. As well, or doesn't move the ball as well. It, it's hard. Like if, if you've ever played in, a, in a, a team basketball like that, it's hard to go back to your old, to the old place that you used to, where you have Westbrook, and you have two main ball handlers that cause that yeah, does a lot of isolation, and the the offense is very stagnant. I don't think I can. I don't think he'll go back there unless this the style of play or the kind of players that is in OKC are different. 